Let's talk about health insurance for entrepreneurs, for those of you that want to go full time in your business. As you know, I'm an entrepreneur, but I'm also a notary business owner. I run a full notary business and loan signing business. Um, as well as a content creator and many other things. And so one of the topics that I'm asked quite often is what about health insurance? Health insurance seems to be this um, kind of like crazy, scary idea and it's kind of unknown, sort of like maybe car insurance, but it doesn't have to be at all. So today I want to talk a little bit about my journey on um, obtaining health insurance for myself and my family and how I was able to do that and do it affordably. So normally or typically when you work for a business, whether it's part-time or full-time or a corporation, you have benefits within that company and they provide health insurance to you and your family at a cost or sometimes free if you have a really awesome company. But if you are venturing out into your own thing and doing your own business as an entrepreneur, you may have been worried about insurance. So a little bit about my journey with this is um, I was a um, teacher and a counselor. So I had health insurance through what's called TRS or the teacher retirement system. And when I was beginning my transition from being a full-time counselor to a full-time entrepreneur, one of the things on the top of my list before I made that transition was how am I going to obtain and get health insurance for myself and my family? Because that is really an important part of this whole process. You need to make sure you're covered because accidents can and will happen and you don't want to be caught without it guys so I really want to show you guys and tell you my experience and kind of help you guys out here I had uh, just regular middle of the line insurance with my um, district through TRS and um, you know I'm relatively healthy I, I eat okay I'm not the perfect person as far as health goes but every time I go to my doctor's appointments all my labs everything is fine um, so I didn't really need the the one the plan where it's where you pay so much um, so that you can go to all these doctor's appointments and have all these uh, screenings and all these medications I didn't need that so my plan was literally probably the next to the lowest plan you could get so when I was researching and trying to get out of that I kept that in my mind as far as how I wanted to transition I wanted to kind of have a similar plan for myself when I went into my entrepreneur health insurance journey my experience with health insurance with the educational system has not been the best experience and it is a um an idea or a thought the similar thought to majority of educators is the health insurance is terrible but many people will either uh, just stick with it or they may get on their spouse's insurance I just chose to stick with it because that's what I had to do at that time and it got me through all right so what I recommend for you if you are wanting to be an entrepreneur and have full full health insurance benefits for yourself and your family is you need to research and reach out to a health insurance broker okay health insurance broker what the health insurance broker did for me was he gave me basically a rundown of how this process works the health insurance broker that I ultimately went with gave me a rundown of the process he gave me a sense of what my health condition was maybe what my budget would be and gave me um, really an in-depth review and understanding of all of the different plans and what I would get and what I wouldn't get and what would be covered with myself and my kids and so it's highly recommended to speak to a health insurance broker he did a really great job at explaining the different plans and what I could and could not do with those plans so before you dive into deciding which uh, plan to get make sure you do your research on the insurance health insurance broker you want to look for one that is experienced that knows about the different plans and that is easy to talk to someone that is responsive and kind of 
understands that you're going to have a lot of questions, especially if you are new to this and you're just getting out and you may just be a little bit nervous because you want to make sure you're covered. So find someone who's patient, but also very knowledgeable, knowledgeable in the health insurance uh, sector. So there are two major factors that you're going to want to consider when choosing your health insurance plan. The first one is going to be your medical needs and the second one is going to be your budget. So again, my medical needs have been pretty um, low key. I haven't had any major issues in my medical history. Um, and so I, I kept that into account as I was speaking with my health insurance broker. Um, I do take like, I am anemic, so I do take like iron and I obviously am going to get all of my well checks and my female checks. And as I get older and progress, I knew that I wanted to make sure and have all of the things that needed to be checked and screened um, for to make sure nothing serious does happen. When I spoke to my health insurance broker, things that were important to me that I made sure to be covered for were catastrophic things. Uh, just because, you know, again, accidents happen and I still have young children where I'm pretty active in playing outside and doing bike riding and kind of being adventurous. And so I wanted to be covered for things like if I broke a leg or a minor surgery or if I had to, I got sick and had to go into the hospital for a few days, nothing major. But I also did want to be covered for things like that. I wanted to be covered for things like maybe a accident, a car accident, um, any hospital stays for myself and my kids. So these are the things that were important. These are the things that I talked about with my health insurance broker um, to make sure we found the right plan for me. And I suggest you do the same. So these things were important to me because they were they were, they're incidents that I do not want to pay out of pocket for. So I want it to be covered under my deductible. So the higher your deductible is going, your payments are going to be lower. So if you want a lower deductible, you've got to understand that your monthly payment is going to increase. Okay. That's just the way it is. The higher the deductible, the lower the payment. The higher the payment, the lower the deductible. So when I chose my plan right now, my current plan with my insurance broker, I chose the middle of the road. I chose to have it mimic the plan that I had with my previous employer. All right, so my deductible is not super high, but it's not the lowest. And then my payment isn't super low. It's a middle of the road payment. So for me, it's about $200 a month, all right? Now, this doesn't include my children, and I will talk about that in a little bit because when you add on children or a spouse or just have a family in general, your insurance is gonna be a little bit higher. So everyone's situation is different. So if you are someone that has some serious health conditions and you may need to, let's say, take lots of medication or you are young and in your you're in the family planning stage of your life and you know you're going to get pregnant or you want to try to get pregnant, you are going to want to consider the lower deductible um, plan. And of course, your payments are going to be higher, but it's going to give you a lot more coverage for the things that you need for your conditions, your medication um, and any family planning that you have coming up in the future. Other factors that you're going to want to consider when choosing a insurance plan is your age and location and your family size. Now, if you have maybe two or three kids, they're all going to be bundled together as a family plan. You're, you're probably not going to get an individual plan for each child. It's going to be what's called a family plan. And again, these are the things you need to discuss with your health insurance broker at the beginning of your encounter so they understand your needs and what you need. I did want to point out one more thing about my plan specifically for me and why I chose the middle of the road plan um, because like I said before you're gonna want to make sure age your age is a factor in all of this and I am at the age where my health 
history and my family's health history is part of my health plan and knowing that I have a history of like breast cancer and other things in my family or in the for the women in my family I understand that now I'm going to have to start getting more screenings and things for preventative measures and that's all considered in my plan as well that is why I went middle of the road versus the bare bones minimum like I used to do when I was in my early 30s okay now that I'm in my later 30s I'm considering more of the screenings that I'm gonna have to get to um, monitor my health and prevent uh, some of the serious things that can happen so let's talk about some of the different plans you're going to want to Google different health companies to find a reputable one or one that you may already be familiar with with your employer so initially my first two years I went with Blue Cross Blue Shield because that's what I was familiar with I know they're um, a good company I know they take care of their clients and it was easy to find a doctor anywhere but then after I um, this current health year this current year for my health plan I switched over to what's called Baylor um, uh, Baylor insurance or Baylor Scott and White because that is a um, hospital locally in um, on my area but they are a huge reputable um, medical field or medical company and um, I chose to go with them so that I could use all of their doctors and use all of their networks but I highly encourage you to look at that as well your broker is going to give you a lot of different options and just make sure you understand you don't have to give an answer right away take the list of the companies that they provide and then go do your research and see exactly what their company is about and do they align with your needs being an entrepreneur in itself is already a big jump a big it's a like a learning curve it's new and so adding on the pressure of what am I going to do about my health insurance what about my benefits should be something that you uh, kind of feel more comfortable with when you speak to a professional um, but it's very important that you do speak about it all right don't get scared about insurance talk to someone sit down with someone over the phone and have them explain these things to you uh, there's so many people that I've talked to that just don't have any insurance because they just didn't understand it and I'm I feel so bad and sorry for them because this shouldn't be this way you need to get in touch with a health insurance broker to help you in your journey so in conclusion or some final touching points I'm just bringing up again is I want you to make sure that you do your research on both the insurance broker the company and then do your research on your actual needs as a health insurance plan and remember the more things that you want to be covered for the higher or more expensive your health insurance is going to be but again don't be scared it can be done it can be affordable and there's lots and lots of different plans out there so don't go uninsured I hope that this video was helpful to you and you found value in it all my notary bosses out there now you know that you can definitely move forward in your business full-time and still get that health insurance thank you for watching with me today if you found the content or information in this video valuable go ahead and hit that like button and comment down below so that I can hear your experiences and hear what your questions are again thank you guys i hope you have a great day and see you later